Told you at the top of the show, power crews are working around the clock to restore power to 156,000 Carolinians who are in the dark tonight. Duke Energy says it's already brought that number down from more than 500,000. But after more than 24 hours without it, some Charlotte families are wondering when theirs will come back on. That's where NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly picks up our live team coverage tonight. Ashley. Hey, Sarah. Well, in addition to those thousands of families and people across Mecklenburg County who are still without power tonight, CMS also announced earlier today that 23 schools across the district are also still in the dark. While towns north of Charlotte continue to dig out. So we're just trying to uh, clean up the snow, snow a little bit here, clear up the sidewalk. Power crews are working around the clock, trying to restore power to the more than 16,000 across Charlotte, still in the dark. I think we lost power around uh, 11, 11.30 in the morning yesterday. Uh, we lost power about 2 p.m. yesterday. Off Park Road, more than 200 residents at the Hudson Apartments without power for more than 24 hours. It just is what it is, really, when it comes down to it. I can't do anything about it, so it's not ideal. So since everybody else has power around us, but um, it is what it is. And in this neighborhood near Glen Eagles Road, nearly 30 families anxiously waiting for lights to come back on. Some growing impatient and fleeing to a hotel. Well, we can deal with the light. It's more the heat. <laughs> uh, don't like to be cold. Duke Energy says a majority of those power outages were caused from tree limbs coming down onto power lines, cars sliding into poles, and also heavy ice and snow accumulating on the lines. Now, uh, we were told by a spokesperson for Duke Energy that as of 5 o'clock this evening, so right now, if you are a customer who's affected by a power outage, you should be able to go to the Duke Energy power outage map to get an accurate time of when your power is estimated to be restored. And we'll of course, have this link for you up on our website, WCNC.com. But reporting live, Asha Daly, NBC Charlotte. All right, good information, Ashley. Thank you.